Hey guys, I'm back, and now it's time to review um, the Shanks figure that I got from One Piece. And like I said, guys, now that I've got this guy, I have all the Anime Heroes One Piece characters. So first, guys, before we get this guy out of the packaging, let's take a look at the packaging first. So of course, it does say One Piece right there. It's got the window packaging that shows the figure, all the accessories and stuff. It does show that cool image of him right there. I think that looks really cool. It says Anime Heroes right there. Once again, I do believe that says Anime Heroes because this text right here, which I believe is in Japanese, it looks the same every time. So, and it does say Shanks right there. Turn it around. Once again, I do believe it says Anime Heroes right there. It says Anime Heroes right there. One Piece right there. Here's a look at the back. We have all the rest of the figures in the wave. Um, I, you saw, um, I have posted reviews of Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji. I did review Ace, and I do have him. I did try to do a review on him, but um, the reason why I was not able to upload the video for this guy is actually the same reason for why I have not been active. But once again, the reason why I have not been active, I'm going to put that... Um, sorry about that. I'm going to make a whole video on that um, after I'm done reviewing all the items I got at GameStop. And then, of course, there's Shanks, who we're, we're reviewing today. Then there's the price I picked it up for, $19.99, almost $20. And here's the other side. It says Anime Heroes right there. Side of the window packaging. Then another cool image of him right there. It says Shanks right there. There's top Anime Heroes right there. There's the bottom, all the writing down there. And that's about it for the packaging. Wait. All right, of course, there's that part of the packaging. Warning, Choking Hazard, Bandai, Ages 4+. Plus. Okay, yeah. Now let's get this guy out of the packaging and see what he's looking like. Okay guys, I'm back and I finally got Shanks out of the packaging. And I just gotta say guys, I already think this is a great figure. So, let's talk about it. Of course, first let's talk about like the details and features, stuff like that. First, we'll start with his face. That's a cool looking face right there. He's got the three scars over his um, left eye. Does have the red hair, of course. That's pretty cool. And, of course, the eyes and the facial hair, the beard, the mustache, and stuff like that. Of course, he does have the white coat, the black cape, which I think is very cool. Does have a sheath for the sword. And of course, pants, the hair on his legs, and the sandals. So there's not really a whole lot of like details or features for Shanks like the other One Piece figures that I've got. But hey, that's alright though. Unless I'm missing some features. Nope, not missing any features or anything. Like details, I should say. So, now let's talk about articul... Sorry about that. Articulation. Yeah, guys, sorry. It's just that, um... I got a new video game, and I really want to play it. And, um... And I just kind of want to get this done. So, that's why I'm not really talking right. But, so yeah, sorry about that. But now let's talk about articulation. So first, let's start with the head. The head can't really move that much. It can move a bit up and down and a bit side to side, but not that much. That's because of the hair and the cape. But I think that's good because like I said, um, I did say this in some of my past reviews and I'll say it again. I'd rather lose articulation than have missing details. But so yeah, there's not much articulation to the head. And it looks like maybe the neck can articulate a little bit. I'm not sure if that's a detail or anything. Now, I think that neck part right there is just a detail. I don't think you can, like, move the neck around. Uh, but, yeah, then the arm can, can, like, barely move side to side or up and down. And that's because of his cape. But you can bend the arm like this and go like this. And the hand part can do a 360. And in case if you're wondering why he does not have a second arm... um. For, I'm not going to say that. You'll have to find that out for yourself if you're planning to watch One Piece. because. Um, but it is in Season 1. In Season 1, um, they, it shows how he lost his left arm. But if I say it now, it's going to be a spoiler. And if you're watching this video, if you're someone who's watching this video who has not yet watched One Piece and is planning to, you'll have to find that out for yourself. Don't worry, I'm not giving any spoilers. But I have already seen how he loses his left arm. But, uh, yeah. Then here's the legs. The legs can go out like this. Not that much far back due to the cape. But they can go out like this, too. And they can bend at the knees. They have a 
double hinged knees, and I, and I forgot to say, this is the double hinged elbow. And, yeah, both of them can do that. But the legs can move like this, they have the double hinged knees. And we have the ankle rockers, right here. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. So, not really a whole lot of articulation for Shanks, and that makes sense because, like, his big cape and stuff. So, yeah. So, that's about it for the figure. Um, so, I'm right there for now. Now, I want to talk about accessories. So, first, um, here is one of his interchangeable hands. And of course, he has no pairs of interchangeable hands because he only has one arm. But here's one of his interchangeable hands. It's a fist hand, which I think is very cool. Here is another hand, which looks like he's pointing or something. I'm not exactly sure yet. And his last interchangeable hand, which is a gripping hand for his swords. Yep. And speaking of swords, first, here is his sword in the sheath. This His blade is not blue. Um, it's his, it's this is a sheath that's blue, but uh, yeah. Let's see, Avenshaw, can you remove this? Yeah, these two parts are removable from each other, just like um, the figure that of Zoro that I reviewed with his three swords. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Then here is his actual sword out of the sheath, which I think is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's all the accessories, and yeah, this review. Um, to me, has been a bit shorter than all the other anime heroes figures I reviewed because for this guy, there's not really a whole lot of details, not a whole lot of art articulation, but that's okay. But um, real quick, cool, guys, I'm gonna cut the camera and I'll bring be right back. Sorry about that, because I'm bringing in the other One Piece characters. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and I just got the rest of the figures in this wave for One Piece, and this is all five of them that have been released for this wave so far. So we have Ace. Sanji, um, Shanks, Zoro, and Luffy. So yeah, guys, this is all of them. And yeah, and I can tell, at first I was thinking that Shanks is the tallest, but no, I can tell that if you were, if I were to stand up Ace um, to where it was tallest, he'd be, he'd still be the tallest figure in this wave. These ones, but yeah, I'm sure all of these guys are, I'm pretty sure, all, are also all taller than the One Piece Sorry, Naruto figures for anime heroes. Sorry, guys. Once again, I got a new video game, and I'm eager to play it, so that's why I'm not talking right at the moment. But so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. And um, I'm about to review the two other items that I got. So, yeah, I will see you there. Bye.